Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen and I hope you all are well and today I will be cooking Glasgow's favorite and classic chicken korma. Let me tell you the secrets of this delicious coconutty and creamy chicken korma. I've been getting so many requests for cooking this korma and I hope you all enjoy it. So before I start a recipe, I want to say thanks to all of you lovely people for all the support, lovely comments and the photos that you guys have been sharing and this means a lot to me and I hope that you enjoy your lockdown time while cooking my recipes. To get started, dice your chicken breast into small cubes and you can always use chicken thigh if you prefer more richer and succulent flavor and don't mind a little bit of a fat as compared to chicken breast. In a mixing bowl, marinate your chicken with yogurt, salt and turmeric and give it a good mix. In a saucepan, add vegetable oil or coconut oil and let it heat up for few minutes on a medium heat. Once the oil is hot, add cinnamon, cloves, green cardamom and bay leaf and infuse the oil with the flavors. It usually takes about two to three minutes. Do not fry them longer than two or three minutes or you will ruin your sauce. Now add blended paste of onions. To make onion paste, add a little bit of water to roughly chopped onions and blitz them in a mixer blender on a full speed for two to three minutes. Fry the onion paste on a medium flame for six to seven minutes, stirring continuously. Do not overcook the onions or your korma sauce may taste bitter. Now add ginger and garlic paste and fry for a couple of minutes or until the raw taste has disappeared. Again, do not overcook your onion and ginger garlic paste. You just have to cook until the raw taste of ginger and garlic have disappeared. Now add de-seeded green chilies, coriander powder, garam masala and turmeric powder and pour in some water. Fry for a minute. I need to add a little bit more water and mix well. Now add the marinated chicken and any leftover marinade in a sauce. Coat well with the masala and cover it. Cook it on a low flame without adding any water at this stage. After 10 minutes, chicken has released its own juices into the sauce and now stir in coconut cream. Here I've used the freshly made coconut cream. You can always buy it from a shop. Just make sure you buy a good quality coconut cream and use only the thickest part of the coconut cream and discard any watery bits as they do not add any taste in your korma sauce. Mix the coconut cream into the sauce well and put the heat down to low. You don't want to boil the coconut cream for a longer period as it will kill the taste of the coconut and your sauce will become thin, watery with the lumps and that will ruin the flavor. Now adjust the consistency by adding a little bit of water and sugar and let it simmer on a gentle flame for about two minutes and your nuttiest korma is ready to be served. Thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you loved watching Glasgow's favorite chicken korma and I encourage you guys to cook this for your loved ones for this lockdown time and please do subscribe to my YouTube channel where you have all the list of ingredients. As always, I will see you there.